This project I worked on for the Armstrong Air and Space Museum's Gemini 8 capsule has this menu in the flight section, and several have asked me how it works. I'll come out with another video soon showing a little bit more about this project, but let's focus right now on this menu. So this is Storyline. Basically, if you click, or because this is for a kiosk, touch any of these buttons, the screen expands, kind of unmasks, into that section. So then I can go back. I can touch another button, and it expands again into the other section. Back again. Touch another section here, and again it expands. It's just a nice kind of transition to kind of deep dive into more information. You know, basically just trying to immerse the user in each of these sections. So let me show you a much simpler version of this. So we've got two items, the country life and the city life. Click on these, and they expand out. Go back, and I'll click the other one, and it expands out as well. So I don't have as nice of a transition to kind of close this off like I did in the Gemini project, but you get the idea. So basically I have a base that has two button hotspots. So let me hide these. Then I have two images, the barn and the city. The city image I have just kind of cropped in right now, but I do need an image that fills the screen. Each of these have to fill the screen completely. When you click each button, it will show a layer. Uh, nothing really complex about each of the layers. The country life layer, for instance, it has an image of the barn. Uh, full screen, as you can see, if I move this city layer off to the side. Then the city layer has a motion path that slides out of the way when you enter the uh, timeline here. So pretty simple. Then I do the same thing for the city life. I just reverse it. So I have the city image, full screen, behind the cropped farm image. And then that farm image, motion paths out of the way. And that's it. In my Gemini 8 version, I just have a lot more layers where I kind of reverse this by moving images back in. I just motion path them back onto the screen. But it's basically just a bunch of layers based on the button you click on, and uh, they just kind of move in and out depending on uh, what you want to see. Voila!